our big focus tonight, we're looking at the Prime Minister's offer to Anna Hazari. Do you think that it forms the contours of a reasonable compromise? Do let us know what you think. Well, uh, we'll be going shortly across to our panel. We have Mr. Sanjay Nirupam, Congress Lok Sabha MP, the spokesperson of the BJP, Mr. Rajiv Pratap Rudi, who will be joining us here in the studio. We have Mr. Dilip Padgankar, consulting editor with the Times of India. Also joining us shortly uh, will be Shazia Ilmi uh, from Team Anna. But first, uh, my interview with Prashant Bhushan that was recorded a little earlier today, just before the Prime Minister's letter to Anna Hazari was made public. Uh, I spoke to Mr. Bhushan on what the minimum conditions were for Team Anna. He made it clear uh, that they would not accept uh, the bill going to a standing committee. I did ask him uh, after, Mr. after the Prime Minister's letter became public whether they still stood by uh, their uh, stand that uh, they didn't want the bill to go to a standing committee and he said yes. So let's take a look at that interview now. Mr. Bhushan, uh, there seems to be some forward movement today. Finally, Arvind Kejriwal uh, met Salman Khurshid, the law minister. Would you say that the ice has been broken? Well, at least, uh, I mean, there is some uh, discussion about what uh, the government feels in this matter. But uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, it is still very far from any kind of clear uh, road map ahead. So therefore, uh, one can't say that uh, we are reaching anywhere yet. Right. M Mr. Bhushan, uh, lots of suggestions have come up in the last 24 hours in particular. Now, uh, the government, we understand, could even be looking at, at a new draft, which could even include the Prime Minister's office uh, under the Lokpal. It could look at having uh, more categories of bureaucrats uh, uh, under the Lokpal, although it appears that the judiciary would be taken care of by a separate bill. Now, what is your reaction to these proposals? Do you think uh, that these would help? No, we have always been very clear that uh, in, uh, we have laid out the principles of the Jan Lokpal bill, which are that we need uh, an independent institution to investigate corruption of all public servants, top to bottom and across the board, meaning judges, MPs, ministers, bureaucrats. Now. <clears throat> Uh, we also feel, it is our view, that it is better to have one agency looking after uh, the offence of corruption because creating multiple agencies creates confusion. However, on the issue of uh, the judges, if an independent, totally independent, that means a, another institution is created independent of the judiciary as well as independent of the government, and that institution is created simultaneously with the Lokpal. That is, that bill is also brought together or included in this bill. Then perhaps we may, uh, we will probably have no objection in principle to doing that, provided it's an independent, credible body and come simultaneously. Right, but, but you know, Mr. Bhushan, not all of your proposals can be accepted. And, and don't you think that therefore there has to be some give and take like the PM said and that the suggestions that have been put forward in the last day or so are an important first step? Uh, I won't say uh, whether they are a good first step or not. You see, it's not very clear these are just some informal discussions with uh, the current law minister. I don't know how far and to what extent what he is saying uh, would have the backing of the, uh, of the entire government, etc. So therefore, it's too premature to say anything on the basis of uh, this first sort of informal discussion uh, between Mr. Khurshid and Arvind. NDTV's Cricket app, Android and iPhone, faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free NDTV.com slash apps.